Liberals, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to your August 2020 general reading. Guys, don't you think the journey on Earth is very real at the moment? <laughs> like, can you imagine some of the actual poetry, you know, and um, books and material that's going to come out of the spirit, you know, Earth 2020. Um, I think it's very brave souls that are on Earth at the moment because ain't the easiest thing. So how did you doing well, my loves? Okay, cards are starting to fly out. So let's just grab them. If this is the current situation. And... If you're coming back, welcome back. And if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. My name is Adrian. I'm a psychic medium holistic wellness practitioner. I've got a weekly reading for you. This one is for August 2020. Yeah. So we see what we got for you, my angels. Obviously, this is a general reading, so you take what resonates. And what doesn't resonate, you just release with peace and love and you let it go. And if you want to have a personal reading, you can do that as well. The details are down below. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram. Oh, nice. Things are improving. They may not have been as brilliant as you would have liked them to be, but they are improving. And look at what's the overall energy for your reading. The wall. Mm. Not bad, eh? Things are balancing out. They're evening out. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. Let's draw your crystal oracle card. There were some deep inner soul searching vibes that happened over here. And what do we have? Manifestation. Manifestation. Some cool stuff, that's great. All right, so. Hmm. So in the current situation for you, um, Libra, we've got Ace of Swords. We're cutting some people and some things off. Knight of Cups and the Queen of Wands. And I like the fact that this Knight of Cups is laying sort of in the middle of your reading because for me this card is always about something beautiful coming forth, something beautiful being offered, some beautiful sort of um, like a divine intervention. All right. So the tables are turning but they're turning in a very positive way. So what brought you to where you currently are? There is the Devil, there's the Nine of Swords, and there's a six of pentacles. So things have been a little bit rough. Okay. Your plate wasn't only full. It's like you had this whole buffet table and it was starting to like wobble a bit like, you know. Things had to change. Certain things had to go. Certain people had to go. Um, and I feel that the people that in it, it's almost like you knew there was something going on, but you couldn't quite place your finger on it. All right and uh, you know when, when when you know sometimes in life that something is going on so either there's some sort of deceit going on or there's some kind of secret that's being kept from you you know that something has happened you just don't know what it is and that's sort of coming out right now and that is changing everything for you as in absolutely everything okay Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Five of Wands. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Hmm. It's so funny that, you know, obviously nobody really likes to get a cold. But uh, I woke up with a bit of a scratchy throat. <laughs> I had it last night already because um, I, had, um, I had a couple of online training sessions for tarot. And if you're interested in learning it, the details are down below. And um, I also had a regression hypnosis client and I had some, I, I've got a lot of things going on yesterday. So, um, but my throat was a little scratchy. And so I woke up this morning and I realized I'm a little bit fluish. And it was like, a, you know, like you get like a wet cough, <laughs> like a bit of a flowy nose. I'm like, oh goodness, thank you. It's a wet cough and it's a flowy nose. <laughs> All right. Let's see for you, my Libras. So we're going to clarify this world situation and the manifestation first. So this is the overall energy for your reading. And let me tell you one thing for certain. No two ways about it. This is brilliant. Brilliant. This is what everybody wants right now. Okay. Card flying out. Another card flying out. 
and what else do we have for you? Let's just take one from the bottom. Mm, okay, so seven of pentacles in reverse, the fool and the two of pentacles in the upright position. Okay, so yeah, that self-sacrificing vibe that you were busy with the, you know, kind of putting your own dreams, visions and plan of whatever on the back burner, you were like, no more, mm -mm, no more. You know, life is precious, life is short. I feel that you, I feel that for many of you, you know, you, you're sort of in the space where you realize um, your own sort of mortality, where life really doesn't last forever. And you're like, if I'm going to do something, I've got to do it now. And there's a big shift in mindset that's taking place here. Really sort of rethinking before just spending and spending everything, spending your time, spending your money, spending your resources, spending your whatever, you know. It's got nothing to do with being stingy. It's more like, um, in fact, this might be opening you, you to more, to sharing with the people that could actually be benefiting from you sharing because it's almost like you're realizing you might have been wasting your a lot of your all on, on some people and you're like, uh -uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. We got it twisted, but now we're going to untwist it. Okay? Right. And it's also, I feel like, a very strong, renewed sense of faith within life and within possibility and within yourself and a sense of bravery of just going forward, knowing that it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. I'm going to do it. It's going to be fine. Don't worry, guys. It's going to be fine. I'm going to be cool. All right? Um, and it, it, it's not just chatter chatter it's actually really really true you, you it's like you can feel it and you know others may not grasp it but you're like it's all right they're gonna see they're gonna see they're gonna see all right let's clarify the devil there in the recent past yup beautiful this is the most probably the most accurate clarification i had of the devil card ever and i've been doing tarot since 2001 the four of wands the world and the moon honestly it it can't get I, I don't think it can get more amazing than that wow knew what you wanted how you wanted to feel how you want your world to be and you start us i feel that some of you might have started to isolate yourself because you really realized that it, it, it was laying for you with imbalancing the emotions okay Let's clarify the nine of swords. So the two of ones, the eight of swords, and the tower. Yeah. Just letting go, even though you realize that it was necessary, it wasn't easy. It was hard. It was hard. It was hard. Some of you realize that, you know, you may have been wanting to have a more balanced sort of you know beautiful amicable softer approach to things and i feel for many of you you got to the point where you realized that easy was just not going to do it easy wasn't going to do it you had to cut them off you you, you could see what you want your world to be and you had to cut them off Okay, what, is, what do we have here? What's popping out? So this is the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> so the Nine of Wands came up first in, rev in reverse. Sorry, in reverse, reverse. <laughs> Making up my own language here. So you were like, listen, I'm going to have to cut it loss. I feel that you've maybe been trying with something or someone or certain situation. You've really been trying your best and they were just not getting on the bandwagon. They just won. All right. And so clarifies here, we've got the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Swords is back, and the Hierophant. <coughs> <coughs> My wet cough. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. That emotion had to go. It was a big stumbling block. It may have seemed small to others, but to you it was a big deal. And you need a time to heal from this situation. But you also realize that by holding on, you were it's almost like you were blocking your natural resources. Okay? 
So which brings us to Ace of Swords. Something came to light. Something came to light or something's coming to light in this. And I feel very... Oh, it, it feels very soon as opposed to later. So what do we have? What came out? A whole reverse vibe happening over here. The High Priestess in reverse. <laughs> the Page of Wands in reverse. The High Priestess is the one that... No, sorry. The Page of Wands is the one that went flying. And the Ace of Wands in reverse. You cut someone off or you... you there's, there's, there's some... There's some realization that something needs to be cut off. It's, it's got... It's got to go. Clean cut. And... What I like is that you realize that it's a, it's from a point of love. It's from a point of respecting, um, you know, the true divinity of who you are, the true beauty of who you are. So the, it, this is not spite. This is this is one of those things where you realize that, um, you know, I may have kind of gotten myself into this funk without meaning to do so, but it's my responsibility to to sort of equalize things out. Okay. Let's clarify this cut, this um, this Knight of Cups. You would be happy to hear that your actions that may have given you so much stress, so much stress, is paying off. It's paying off. The Nine of Cups, remember? My baby. Um, three of Wands the world and wait for it it gets better the sun okay so at least that's good news i mean i thought in the beginning when we clarified the, the devil card you know when i was saying wow this is kind of like wow times two like double wow double women queen of wands some of you have kind of been you know you 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 <laughs> Where's this card in the sun? Don't go hide yourself. Um, they just flipped around. Some of you, you like, you may have been stuck without actually realizing that you were stuck. <laughs> and then you kind of realized. Okay. So the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles that was flipping around there. Um, the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles, lots of manifestation, lots of abundance. And I feel that with that card, it went flipped around and it was hiding itself. It's also kind of going into your immediate future with the Ten of, you know, Pentacles there, the Two of Swords and the Five of Wands. Some of you, it's, it's almost like you were hesitant to shine too brightly. Like you would tone yourself down just a little bit. So that, you know, others don't feel uncomfortable by your light shining too brightly. But you're becoming, it's, 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 it's something that you're still growing to, um, you're still becoming accustomed to it, you know. But you also like it. <laughs> I feel a beautiful, wonderful sense of success coming on here. Yep. So with the Ten of Pentacles there, clarifying with the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords. Libra, ha, 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 Yep. It's the way forward is becoming so clear. It's like things are just clearing up. You know, there may have been so much confusion and... Oh. Okay, so... It's, I'm still talking in the middle, oh, in the, oh, <laughs> I'm still speaking, it's just coming out. Um, wow. So there were the two of swords, because this actually adds in with the previous part. Um, the eight of pentacles, the page of swords, and the queen of pentacles. So really, go forward bravely and boldly and, you know embrace you this is really time to take out that lit and let it shine you know screw pandora's box you are that box we're opening this box and we're letting your light shine out and this is like literally bright stars i love it okay 
So, five of wands. Because it's like this nagging sense of, oh, oh my. <laughs> um, it's like it's a nagging sense of a little bit of a, you know, guilt still sometimes tripping up on you. I actually saw the Justice card on top now, which is, which is the Libra card. Yep, Ten of Swords. So, first of all, what had me so surprised is that the Five of Wands is clarified by the Five of Wands. That, that in itself is powerful. Let's actually just stop there. So, the fight you would have fought, fought before and that you sometimes still feel that, you know, aren't you maybe being selfish by just stepping away? You're not. It completes the cycle for you, that whole letting go. Beautiful things coming through there. Some sort of off in a way that you wouldn't expect. And I feel that there's something coming through in a physical sense. Um, I, interestingly enough, I didn't see too much about love here. I'm going to draw you one more card. There was nothing really about love. Let's see for Libra for love. Queen of Wands. It's about loving yourself right now. Okay. That's fair enough. <laughs> That's fair enough. If you're giving so much of your energy away to others. That's fair enough. Alright. So, let's just draw you an Angel Oracle card. Beautiful cards I got for my birthday. I love them. Um, for you, Libra. The end of your reading. And if it resonates with you, you're more than welcome to like the video. Give a comment. Subscribe to the channel. There's a reading coming up here every week. And the angels of the universe. Look at that figure over there going into new stuff, new beginnings, new platform. You see, it's about stepping forward into faith or stepping forward with faith into all the light that you might not know what the future is going to be like, but you know and accept it and embrace inside your heart. Then it's going to be beautiful. And so it is. And so it is, my beautiful people. Okay. Thanks so much for your time, your energy, your love and your light. I'll see you next week. Bye.